The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Fourth chapter, text number 10. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 2nd, 1974, in Vrindavan, India. Dhitarāga bhayakrodha manamaya māmupāsita bahabo gyanatamusā pūta madhabhābam ādhata. Bhābam <coughs> means nature also. Oh. Just like we call nature sabhāv, sabhāv. So madhbhavam, this is one nature, this material nature, and this is also Krishna's bhavam, means Krishna's nature, nothing is beyond Krishna, but this is uh, external nature. Uh, Bhumi rapanaro bayu bhinna me prakiti astadha. Bhinna means separated energy. The energy is working, although uh, it is Krishna's nature, still it is separated nature. Just like I am speaking, uh, it is being recorded. When it will be replayed, you will hear the same sound, but still it is separated from it. Similarly, this material nature is also Krishna's nature. Nothing is beyond Krishna. There are two natures, the spiritual nature and material nature. Uh, the material nature means external energy. And spiritual nature means internal nature. And we, we are also spiritual nature, margin. We can remain either in the material nature or in the spiritual nature. Therefore we are marginal nature. There are three natures, external, internal, and marginal. So, so long we are in the material nature, external nature, we are unhappy. This is the position. Just like a fish, when it is put into the land, it is unhappy or death. Similarly, if you, the creature of the land, if you are put in the water, you are unhappy and death. So because we belong to the spiritual nature, as it is explained by Krishna, that this material nature is apara. Uh, uh, opera. opera means inferior, not fit for us. Therefore we are unhappy. Uh, so long we, are, we shall remain in the material nature, we must be unhappy. Just like this body. This body is made of material nature, and we are within this body. Dehi nasmin jatha dehe kaumāra So long we have got this body, material body, we must be unhappy. First of all, we must try to understand why we are unhappy. We are unhappy because we are in this material body. And the, what is that unhappiness? It is ending in four principles, janma, mittu, jara, vyad. To take, to take birth and again to die and so long we live, we must suffer from some disease and we must become old. Plain truth. Uh, therefore, 
intelligent person must be aware of the miserable condition of this material existence and try to get out of it. Is there any doubt? Huh? This is the fact. Huh? So our only business is how to get out of this material existence. That is our only business. Uh, not that how we can adjust things here and become happy. That is called karmi, fools. Uh, it is a fact that so long you will be here in this material world, however you may try to adjust things to become happy, it will be never possible. It will be never possible. They are trying to be materially happy in the uh, Western world. They do not know actually what is happiness, but material happiness means sex life. So sex life there is every day enjoying, and still they go to the naked dance to see if there is happiness, or why there will be happiness. There cannot be any happiness. But this is adjustment. They are trying uh, this way or that way. That's all. Puna puna chat vita chat banana. In the Bhagavad, the answer is, they, they are all self-interested, but they do not know what is self-interest. Nati vidu sārtha gatiṁ hi viṣṇu durāsaya ji bahirattha mānina. Bahirattha. Bahirattha means external energy, material energy. They are thinking by material adjustment they will be happy. But they do not know that self-interest is how to be uh, again uh, connected with Vishnu, Sārtha-gati. Nati vidu, Sārtha-gati Vishnu. Or to become Vishnu. Vishnu asya devata iti Vishnu. Vishnu means one who has accepted Vishnu as everything. As Krishna says, sarva-dharmān paritajya mām ekaṁ saranaṁ bhaja. This is our business. Uh, but nobody is interested. Nati uh, vidu. They do not know that this is the interest. This is the only interest. How to become uh, reconnected with Krishna or Vishnu? Nati vidu. They do not know. Uh, therefore, you have started this Krishna consciousness movement. They do not know. Everyone. Uh, Send person, the whole population of the world, they do not know. So rascal, so fool. They do not know their interest. Nati vidu sārtha gatiṁ hi viṣṇu durāsaya. Durāsaya, with the hope against hope, which will be never fulfilled. That what is called durāsa. Why? Bohirartha mānina. They are interested in this external energy. This is our problem. But the rascals, they do not know. Uh, shastra. Therefore, you have to consult Shastra. What is our problem? We have to consult Shastra. And Shastra, how we can uh, consult Shastra? Uh, shastra, we have to go somebody who knows Shastra. Therefore, the basic injunction is tadvijñānātham sa guru meva avigacche sotriyam. If you want to know what is your actual interest, then you have to approach a guru. And who is guru? Sotriyam, who knows śāstra. Sotriyam. And not only knows, but the result must be there. Brahmanistham, Miss Krishna Kaur. 
Brahmanistam means fully dependent on Krishna. Uh, this is the process. Uh, we must know, we must find out uh, Guru who knows Shastra, the essence of Shastra. Uh, Vedi, Vedas. What is the essence of Vedas? Vedanta. Uh, Vedanta means to know Krishna. Vedaisa sadvai ahamiva vedam. Krishna says. Uh, all there are different types of Vedas. Sam Jajuri, Kathadva, then 108 Upanishad, then Vedanta Sutra, then Puranas, Ramayana, Mahabharata, Vinsati, uh, twenty kinds of Dharma Shastra, Manusangita, so many things. Uh, so, what is the purpose of all these Shastras? Krishna said, the purpose is to know me. Uh, and the Vedanta, uh, the Upanishad confirms it, just means vijñāti sarvamedam vijñātam bhavanti. If you try to know Krishna, if you try to know Krishna, uh, then, or if you understand Krishna, then you know everything. Just means vijñāti sarvamedam vijñātam bhavanti. This is the knowledge to understand Krishna. Uh, and Krishna also confirms this. Janma karma me dibbam jijanati tattat. Simply, if one understands tattat in truth, what I am, why I descend, why I become a child of Jasudha, why I become son of Vasudeva, uh, Janma, and why I act, why I take part in the bad, he has nothing to do. Natasya karjam karanancha vidyat. Veda says, the Supreme Lord has nothing to do. Why he has to do? He is full, complete. He has nothing to do. He has nothing to aspire. Uh, there is nothing wanting. We are working for, because we want some, so many things. But he has no want. He is atma tripta, fully complete. Thus he has nothing to do. Natasakajam karanancha vidyati. This is the description of God. He has nothing to do. Natasya kājyaṁ karanaṁca vidyate natasya śhama udhikasya dhrishyate. There is nobody equal to him, nobody is greater than him. This is the basic description of God. Natasya kājyaṁ karanaṁca vidyate natasya śhama. Śhama means equal. And udhika. Udhika means greater. Here we will find somebody is equal to you, somebody is greater than you, somebody is lower than you. Three positions. Everyone, nobody can say that I am the final. Anybody, beginning from Brahma down to the end, everybody will find that somebody is equal to him, somebody is greater than him, and somebody is lesser than him. But Krishna, uh, nobody is equal to him, nobody is greater than him, but everyone is lesser than him. This is Krishna. Uh, everyone is lesser. Natasya kājyam karanantru, natasya sama odhikasya dhishyat. Now you are in Krishna consciousness, studying, of course, so many books. Have you found anyone who is uh, greater than Krishna or uh, equal to Krishna? No. We can find one greater than Radharani. He is greater than Krishna. <laughs> yes. That is out of love. Actually, Radharani is also lesser than Krishna. She is Dashi, met servant. Uh, she is always thinking how she shall be perfect Dashi. She is not thinking that Krishna sometimes uh, makes Radharani greater than him. That does not mean Radharani thinks like that. Radharani always thinks, how I shall become perfect maid servant of Krishna. That is the real position. Everyone. 
ఇది చైతన్య చైతామిత ఇల్ ఫైన్ హౌ ఎవ్రీ వాన్ ఈస్ థింకింగ్ ఆర్ సర్వెంట్ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ దట్ ఈస్ అవర్ రియల్ పొజిషన్ బట్ కృష్ణ సమ్ థైమ్ ఎలివేట్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఇస్ డివోటీస్ జస్ట్ లైక్ మాదర్ జశోద హీఈస్ థింకింగ్ మాదర్ జశోద ఈస్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ మీ ఆర్ హీఈస్ మేకింగ్ రాధా ఐ మీన్ మాదర్ జశోద ఫీలింగ్ లైక్ దట్ that i am protector of krishna if i do not feed krishna nicely he will die this is called vatsalyaras paternal feeling uh, uh, so nobody is greater than krishna actually and she is feeling greater than krishna as also made sadhana that i must serve krishna i must timely give krishna food i must uh, timely and uh, uh, raise krishna all is taking care all is answers uh, krishna may not be in danger krishna is crawling he may not go to the water he may not be attacked by the monkey he may not be so many he is all is answers he is doing his household work but he is all is answers how to protect krishna uh, so he is she is thinking she is thinking that unless i give protection to krishna Krishna may be facing with so many danger, uh, uh, but Krishna is doing his business. Uh, Radharani, uh, Mother Jasoda, uh, keeping Krishna underneath the cart, and Krishna is breaking the cart, killing the Sakatasu, and Radha, uh, Mother Jasoda thinking Krishna is safe, then when the uh, cart was broken, the utensils scattered as he became anxious then this is krishna's enjoyment to uh, deal with his devotees in different rasas and enjoy ha sakha shanta dasa sakha madhurya vatsalya in this way krishna is uh, all enjoying he has no other business than enjoyment anandamaya bhyasa is by nature simply enjoying enjoy that is krishna so we are also krishna's part and parcel therefore in minute quantity we have got the same propensities uh, how to enjoy life this is because we are krishna's part and parcel the same just like the drop of sea water has the same chemical composition uh, analyze the same percentage of salt uh, proportionately uh, looks like 2 uh, upon 50 uh, proportion what is called ratio the ratio is the same in small quantity otherwise the uh, percentage is the same uh, only in small quantity so uh, we are uh, anandama our nature is to remain always uh, jubilant in pleasure but because we are in this material contact we are not jubilant this is our problem that uh, krishna is suggesting here how to solve your problem uh, he says vitorag give up this attachment uh, sense attachment raga raga means attach vitorag uh, bhaya and here we have got one quality that uh, fear all is fearing is uh, like we are having this railings why we are afraid we may not be attacked the material life means ahara uh, nidra bhoyo maithun wow we must eat we must sleep and we must be afraid of and we must have uh, sex this is material ahara nidra bhoyo maithun and spiritual life means minus this 
no more fear, no more attachment, no more sex life. The in the life of the Goswami. Nidyahara vihara kādi vijito. Conquer. Conquer over these things, material necessities. So this is called penance. Here it is said. Bahavo jnana tapasā. First of all, jnana, understanding our position. Uh, this is called jnana. And then practice tapasā. Tapasā means uh, make these things, material necessities, zero. That is called tapasā. Tapasā. Uh, because we are accustomed to all these things, eating, sleeping, mating, and feeling. So to give up, it is not possible, all of a sudden. That is not possible. Because we are accustomed, just like the fan is rotating, if you stop the switch, it will rotate, at least for some time, because the force is there. Similarly, even if we accept that these things should be stopped, no more eating, no more sleeping, no more sex, no more fear. Uh, that should be, there must be determination. But it may go round because we are practiced with it. Uh, therefore, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Opiche sudurachara bhajati ma mananna bhak sadhuri va samanta. If you take to Krishna consciousness fully, even due to our past habits, we are attached to all these things. Uh, Krishna says, it doesn't matter. But you keep yourself always in Krishna consciousness. With, what is that? Krishna consciousness, chant Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram. That will keep your Krishna consciousness. Bhajati ma vananna bha. He does not forget to uh, worship Krishna by chanting this Hare Krishna Maha. If you do that, that, but don't be attached to all this eating, sleeping, mating, and defending, but be detached that these things I do not require as spirit soul. But because I am in material condition, because I have got this body, to keep this body fit, I require these things to minimize it. Minimize it. Uh, just like I am sannyasi, somebody is sannyasi. So sannyasi, what is the sannyasi? We are also eating, we are also sleeping. But there is no mating, no sex life. So one item, drop, at least. The very important item. Uh, so that is called bhitarāga. Uh, and there is no fear. Everything can be practiced. Abhyasa yoga yukti na chita sarana gamina. If we practice, then things will be all right. Therefore Krishna says that bahava, not one, bahava, Krishna says many, many persons. We have got many instances in the sastra by tapasā, brahmacarjina tapasā, Jnana, Jamena, Niyamena, Tyagena. Huh? These are the different items. Huh? But either you practice the different items or huh, simply take to Krishna consciousness, all these practices will be automatically done. Kachit Kevala Bhakti Yogena. Vāsudeva parāyana. If you become Vāsudeva parāyana, then these things will be practiced. Just like everyone in this country, in the morning, the manager of the central bank came. He was very much praising that how these 
European, American boys have become so nice because they have taken to bhakti yoga. Uh, it is compared uh, miham, mihar or mibabhaskar. Mihara mibabha. Mihara means uh, what is called Mr. Frost. In the morning, sometimes, eh? fog, fog, yes. The fog, we have got experience. When there is fog, uh, I, I was, when I was going to your country, yes, I, I was on the sea, so there was um, all of a sudden fog covered all over the sea. Uh, anyone who has traveled in the sea, they have got experience. Uh, so you cannot go. The, immediately the ship stops and horns so that other ship may not collide. It becomes. Uh, so this fog, now you have no uh, instrument to drive away the fog. But uh, as soon as the sun rises, a little with strength, immediately for this. Gone. So strong, but due to the sun sign, immediately it is gone. Nihara Mivabhaskara, this example is gone. Similarly, we may have so many bad habits, uh, rag or attachment. But if you simply take to Krishna consciousness, this will go, just like the fog, immediately. Immediately. So take to Krishna consciousness very rigidly. Uh, that is called Vitarava. Uh, simply by this is the gift of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, that Parang Vijayate Sri Krishna Sankirtanam, Chita Darpana Marjanam. Chita Darpana Marjanam means to drive away the fog in the mind. That's all. Because you are covered by the fog in so many ways, and it is very difficult to drive away. But you keep yourself in Krishna consciousness, it will be driven away. It will be driven away. There is no doubt about it. Krishna is suggesting that, uh, first of all, jnana. These rascals have no knowledge how to become happy. They are thinking, we say they will be happy by drinking wine and eating meat and having sex life unlimited. They are thinking, so rascal. The whole civilization is condemned. They do not know how to become happy. Hmm? They do not know how to become happy. Huh? Murha. They do not know. Hmm? The happiness is only in Krishna consciousness. This is the fact. Uh, Krishna assures that that Bahavo, many, jnana uh, tapasa. First of all, one must know that the the way in which you are finding out, try to trying to find out happiness, that is nonsense. That is not possible. We have to uh, give up all these things. That is tapasa. Voluntarily give up all this thing. The more you are advanced means more you have given up all this thing. Eating, sleeping, making, and defending. Ah, this is for you. So Vitarāga bhaya krodha, how it is possible, how to become detached? Manmaya, ah, always be absorbed in my thought. Or manmaya means, man means mind, maya, uh, of me, thinking of me, and that is recommended. Manmana bhava mad bhakta madhijaji maang namaskuru. This is the path. Always think of Krishna, manmana, and this is easy. Hmm? It's like you, you, you love somebody, so if you chant his name, if you think of him, 
Uh, you will always remember. Similarly, if you simply think, think of Krishna, if you simply chant Hare Krishna name, then you remain manmaya. So vitarāga bhayakrata manmaya maam upāsita. You should take shelter of Krishna. Krishna advises, sarva dhanmān paritajya maam ekaṁ saranaṁ braja. You take my shelter. So of course, those who are thinking of Krishna, it is understood that he has taken shelter of Krishna. Manmaya. Manmaya maam upāsita. So, uh, if you do these things, uh, not only you, there, there are many examples, Bahava, just like Pallad Maharaj, uh, Guru Maharaj, or big, big uh, stalwart devotees, Narad Muni, Brahma, Sambhu, Sambhu, Narada, Sambhu, Kumara, Kapila, Pallada, Bhishma, there are big, big personalities to follow them. How Pallad Maharaj was being chastised by his father five years old, but he did not know how to protest. He was suffering and chanting Hare Krishna, Narayana. What can be done? What can be done? He was completely dependent on his father, and father had no mercy. The only fault was he, Krishna conscious, this is the fault. And he was being punished. He was punished. punished. This is the world. Even father will be enemy. What to speak of others? If you become Krishna conscious, the whole world will be your enemy. You must be prepared for that. So, therefore, you require tapasya. Tapasya. Tapasya means voluntarily agree to suffer. That is called tapasya. Voluntary. Suffering is there. But why not suffer for Krishna? Everyone is unhappy. Everyone is in suffering condition. Who is not suffering? Everyone is suffering. Tikaab jantana, adhyatri, adhi bhauti, adhi daivi. Three kinds of sufferings are always going on. Why you are running fan? Because suffering. There is heat. So, where is no suffering? This is called adi daivi. This is scorching heat. This is scorching, I mean, severe cold. There must be always. We are suffering now due to scorching heat. And when the, we are thinking, if it is become cooler, and when it is cool, then also we are suffering. Then we think if there is some heat. When there is uh, winter, we are hankering after uh, heat. And when there is uh, summer, we are hankering after uh, cooling. So this is why you, know, you cannot be happy. First of all, we must know that there is no question of happiness here. We are simply hankering. If you would have been very nicely cool, and when it is cool, then you will think, if it has been nicely hot, the same thing. Charvita charvanana. Charvita charvanana means chewing the chew. You have tasted heat and cold both, but you are designing. If you have been like this, if you have been like that, you know. But, but never come to the conclusion that either heat or, uh, or cool, we have to suffer. Matras Varsastra Pontya, that is explained by Krishna. So long you have got this, this uh, material skin, then this heat and cold you will have to suffer. Matras Varsastra Pontya, Sritosna Sukhadukkada. The sita, the summer, uh, the winter, or the summer season, neither of them are sources of happiness. But you are thinking like that. If you would have been like this, you would have been like this. Uh, therefore, kāṅkha, ākāṅkha. So, if you become transcendentally uh, situated, brahma-bhūta, there will be no more ākāṅkha. 
there will be no more hankering either for this or that, because he knows that is called gyan. So after gyan, that is equal. Gyan, in the human form of life, this knowledge is equal. The animals cannot have gyan. The human being can have that. This is knowledge. That so long I will possess this material body, I will have to suffer. I will have to suffer. Unless you come to this conclusion, there is no progress. If we remain attached to this bodily pains and pleasure, uh, of course, nobody wants pains, but for pleasure, we take to Krishna consciousness. Of course, gradually we we'll come to knowledge. But that is not our aim. Our aim is that the pains and pleasure, uh, so-called pleasure, actually pain, this will continue so long we have got this body. Therefore, uh, we have to practice tapasa, penance. Uh, simple thing. No illicit sex, no meat eating, no gambling, no interest. This is tapas. Voluntarily accepting it, it, those who are practiced to all these bad habits. So uh, they feel some pain, but you accept that pain. Uh, then this pain will be over, this material pain. It's like sometimes for curing some disease, uh, the doctor says uh, the injection or surgical operation that is painful. But to cure the disease, we should accept that pain. Similarly, if you want to become free from this material body, then you should accept uh, accept this pain. This is not pain; it is simply imagination. Actually, it is pleasure. So, because you have no knowledge, therefore jnana tapasa. And if there is knowledge and if there is tapasa, penance, then puta piripa. You become piripa. Therefore, it is said, bahava jnana tapasa puta madhavam agata. Then you come back to home, back. So this Krishna consciousness movement is for teaching how one can be detached from this material uh, existence and voluntarily accepting some uh, uh, so-called, uh, I'm going to say, uh, suffering. Uh, we should be steady, uh, but actually there is no suffering. It is simply imagination. It's like there are many meat eaters. We do not eat meat. So what is our suffering? It is simply imagination. If you if you ask the meat eater that don't eat meat, he say, Oh, it is Haribur. He'll say Haribur. Yes, actually they say. I mean big, big man, the Lord Jetland, he also says, No, no, this is cannot be. This is our life. Uh, Lord Jetland to some of our God, God brothers. So can you make me Brahmin? Yes, we can make you Brahmin. You give us the... No, 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 this is not true. Horrible. Uh, it appears to be hard because we are so much absorbed in Maya. As soon as you ask anybody that you cannot eat meat, he will think it, oh, this is horrible. As soon as you say you cannot drink, you cannot have any intoxication, he thinks it is horrible. But actually, it is, this is maya. It is not horrible, but we are thinking horrible. We are not meat, eating meat. Are you dying? Uh, no. There are so many nice food stuff. Why should I eat meat? Uh, so, parang dishtani vartate, so our philosophy, our Vaishnava philosophy, we do not say only that don't eat this, but eat this. We do not enjoy this, but enjoy this. We give an alternative. We are not simply zero. The Mahavadi philosophy is zero. We say they make this side zero and take this positive side. Just like here. Vitaraga Vhakrudamanma Upasita 
बहुत ज्ञान जन पूता मत भाव मागता ही गिव अप दिस बट दैट डज नॉट मीन ही बी कैन जीरो जीरो इज सुन बाधी बॉयड नो यू कैन नॉट रिमेन इन जीरो दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इफ यू एक्सेप्ट दिस वॉयड फिलोसॉफी टू मेक एवरीथिंग जीरो दैट इज आर्टिफिशियल देन अगेन यू विल फॉल डाउन बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट रिमेन इन जीरो द मायावादी फिलोसॉफर दे वॉन्ट टू आर द बुद्धिस्ट फिलोसॉफर दे वॉन्ट टू मेक थिंग्स जीरो देर इज नॉट पॉसिबल यू कैन नॉट रिमेन इन जीरो बिकॉज यू आर आनंदमय अभ्यास यू वॉन्ट आनंद प्लेज एर प्लेज एर कैन नॉट बी इन जीरो दर इज नॉट पॉसिबल इज इट पॉसिबल टू मेक थिंग्स जीरो एंड यू एंजॉय नो दैट इज नॉट पॉसिबल देर फॉर कृष्ण सेज दैट परंग दृष्टा निवर्त यू कैन मेक जीरो ऑटोमेटिकली वेन यू फाइंड बेटर इन विज सो यू हैव टू गिव बेटर इन विज देन थिंग्स इन विज जीरो बिकॉज यू हैव गॉट बेटर इन गेज मैन यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड टू गो टू दी होटल देर इज होटल ऑल्सो सिनेमा ऑल्सो इन बिंदा बेटर इन विल यू गो देर सो इफ यू बिकम अ टैश to krishna consciousness this hotel the students and and uh, uh, dancing and these and that they will be zero automatically but if you simply try to make it zero that is not possible that is not possible that for parang dishtani vartati if you get vitar engagement to try to engage yourself always in the better engagement then this material activity is in the zero but zero is not our philosophy uh, positive not negative uh, they simply make negative negative will not help us negative uh, there is requisition of negative you know? but here it is said that one is bitaraga bhaya krodha you have to be detached from all this nonsense things but the result will be by gyana tapasa by knowledge and penance and austerities when you will be purified then you will come back to me this is positive this is positive our philosophy is positive not negative negative is i want to say that is what is called annay betiregi sanskrit direct and indirect This is indirect method. Direct method is positive. Uh, so you be positively engaged in Krishna consciousness, in Krishna service, then you will always remain on the transcendental platform, making the material activities zero. That is one. Thank you very much. Thank you.